Hello everyone. Welcome to session four of security testing video series. In this session, I am going to explain the future of security testing in terms of jobs, skill shortage, demand, unemployment rate, pay scale, and finally career advice. So guys, let's get started. The first thing is about jobs. The future of security testing in terms of jobs. So for that, guys, copy this particular text from the notes, which states cyber security job posting increase, and go to any browser, say Google, Chrome, and paste it here. And Google search for this term, guys. Now you'll get the answer. This is the answer, guys. So from this answer, you can clearly understand that according to something, these jobs are among the fastest growing career areas nationally. Okay, cyber security jobs are the fastest growing career jobs. The next thing is, this company predicts the jobs will rise by thirty one percent by two zero two nine. Whatever the jobs we have for this cyber security in this current year will rise by thirty one percent by two zero two nine. That much demand is there, guys. Okay, that is like seven times faster than the other job growth. Okay. It's like seven times faster. The job market is increasing for the cyber security jobs in the coming days. That's the first thing. So why so many number of jobs? Why there is a spike of jobs here? You see, thirty-one percent increase in this many number of years is like a different thing, right? Why that spike is coming up? The reason here is this is the reason, guys. As the applications, as applications are getting hacked and their data is getting breached. This number of cases where the applications are getting hacked and the data that is stored in the applications is getting breached by the hackers, right? That is creating the demand for this jobs case. This is the reason behind why the jobs are increasing in this cyber security area. Okay, as the hackers are hackers are doing more hacks and uh, more breaches are happening on the applications, the jobs are also increasing. That's the reason. There is a very big spike here, as you can see, thirty-one percent. It's a very big number, guys. So the next one, cyber security skills shortage, twenty twenty. Okay. So here we are talking about the number of jobs that are coming, but in the year twenty twenty itself, there is a lot of demand for the jobs, but still there is a skill shortage, guys. A lot of people don't know the security testing. Okay. So they are not into the security testing. They don't have the knowledge of security testing, even though there are some job openings. But there are no people ready, guys, for doing these jobs. Fine, that is a skill shortage thing. So just copy this. You'll understand what is a skill shortage, and how we can utilize this skill shortage for our benefit. Again, Google search here with this new term, cyber security skill shortage 2020. You see here, in 2020, this uh, revealed that seven lakh extra poor professionals are 25 percent more than last year for. Work workforce estimate have joined already. Okay, before 2020, there was huge skill shortage, guys. Okay, there was a huge gap for the skill shortage in the cyber security area. But now the things are changing, guys. So in 2020, something different happened where already lot of extra professionals, like seven lakh extra professionals, have already joined the cyber security. That is 25 percent more than last year's workforce estimate. That means The uh, even the jobs job postings are filled up twenty five percent more than the previous years, guys. Okay, lot of people are joining this area because it is growing. And uh, so earlier the sh this uh, skill shortage, okay, was like around uh, how much four point zero seven million. Last year it was like four point zero seven million skill shortage gap was there, but uh, in twenty twenty something different happened where. The positions were filled like anything, so it came down to three point five million now. Okay, so slowly the skill shortage is coming down, but still three point five million is also a good number, guys. So if there is something skill shortage, guys, the team uh, like uh, you will be the best person, right? Uh, less number of people will attempt that jobs, and uh, okay, since there is skill shortage, the more advantage you will have for getting selected in that job, even though less positions. less postings will be there you will get more chance for getting selected because of your skill set in this particular area less competition you can say 
okay more the skill shortage less the competition that's what i mean to say less people and hence less competition since there is a more skill shortage gap you will have the less people will come for this uh, job postings and you will have the less competition if you are good at the cyber security or security testing skills it's very very uh, more chances that uh, you will have more chances that uh, you will get selected in that jobs okay because of the less competition and uh, and it's taking more time because of the skill shortage guys it's taking more time for the companies to fill that positions okay yeah, for example if some xyz company have some requirement for some five security testing engineers it's taking more time guys it's not so easy for the companies to fill up that five positions okay it's taking long time okay they need to spend around 3 to 6 months minimum to fill up those five positions but if any other job posting happens maybe automation or something that will fill up in simple time guys less very less time in a, within a week uh, the companies can fill up that automation positions or software testing positions but coming to security testing it's taking time guys like 3 to 6 months for the organizations to select the best candidates candidates from this area of security testing it's taking time for the companies to fill up the roles now coming to the next one what about the employ unemployment rate okay is there any unemployment nothing guys okay there is a skill shortage guys that means there will not be any un unemployment here copy this go to something and uh, go to google search and search here you will get the 0% unemployment rate and the pay is also very good the cyber security profession hit a 0% unemployment rate with a good pay that's what is all about guys okay so 3.5 million security jobs left unfilled globally by 2021 this many number of jobs are unfilled there is skill shortage for this many number of jobs that's why the unemployment rate is 0% job security is very high and your job pay is also very high your pay is also very high okay because of these reasons since you are since you will be in demand all these things will happen for you if you choose the security testing career as a career the next one guys cyber security what is the demand of for cyber security or security testing in 2020 in this year 2020 what is the demand so copy this again the do the same thing you will get the answer guys simple all the questions are answered here so according to this nascom india alone will need 1 million cyber security professionals by 2020 you see how much demand it is there how many uh, how much skill shortage is there how many job postings will come in this area of cyber security right so with job portal indeed reported a spike of 150% in cyber security roles between okay companies like have doubled the cyber uh, size of their cyber security teams now you see lot of people have already joined this cyber security guys and still there is a demand uh, the india itself will need 1 million cyber security jobs okay professional by 2020 that means the the future or demand for this cyber security is very good in the current year also 2020 and 2021 also there is very good demand for the cyber security professionals okay fine next one what about the pay scale pay scale guys pay scale for uh, the security testing or cyber security job roles is like it will be like 1.5 to 3 times more than what you get from the other software testing jobs okay from the other software testing jobs you will get more pay okay when compared to the other testing jobs you will get more pay in the security testing area guys that is it will be like around 1.5 okay you have to multiply the other people jobs in the so software testing by 1.5 times to 3 times this is the minimum this is the maximum kind of thing okay you will get more pay in the cyber security or security testing area guys it is a very good area to work and one more thing so apart from the pay apart from the pay apart from the demand apart from the skill shortage less competition out of all this more number of jobs are increasing out of all this advantages guys there's another beautiful advantage okay so everyone want this kind of advantage guys so why do we work guys okay we move between the organization because we want ourselves to be rewarded more right we want to be rewarded more and valued more right that will happen with this security testing job roles because since there is a less competition and uh, there is a specialized skill you can say unlike software testing or any other areas of testing security testing is a specialized skill 
okay a person who is very good at security testing is a specialized kind of person you can specialty super specialty hospitals kind of thing okay so there if you are a good doctor specialized doctor you will be rewarded more right in the similar way if you are a security tester you will you will be nothing but a specialized skill set person that's why you will be rewarded more and valued more guys you will get more value for whatever the work you do and also you will be rewarded also more the respect whatever the value you get from the company will be more when compared to the other job roles because you are a specialized skill set person and uh, the last one that is career advice so how to get into the secure testing so who for whom the secure testing will be the best uh, okay best thing to choose let me explain in a clear manner for example if you are a fresher okay who has joined the software testing thing as a fresher or you have something around one year experience or two year experience or sometimes three years also is fine so if you are falling in between this fresher one year two year three year right just spend one year of time okay in focusing on learning security testing so if you are a fresher or having one year experience or two year experience so mostly not three years guys two years up to two years will be enough okay fresher to two years right you can follow this plan you can spend one year of time by additionally spending more time in learning the security testing in parallelly to whatever you are doing at your job then guys it is very easy for you to switch to the security testing okay if you have if you fall into this range it's very easy to get a job into the security testing at this level okay because your experience level and your knowledge level will match and uh, the new companies the new co uh, the companies will look forward to recruit you with an ease guys so if you fall into this area and if you focus on this uh, security testing learning for one year guys believe me you will have five to six offer letters from very good companies in your hand this is the best time guys okay for the people who are interested to move to the secure testing and get more pay and more reward and more value then this is the best time guys so if you are a fresher or you have one or two years just spend one more year in uh, learning or focusing on the secure testing and then apply for the jobs and all the big companies will give you the offers lot of companies okay are in need guys they are in need actually okay you will be in demand and the companies are in need just understand the situation so you will definitely have five to six offer letters in your hand and you can choose the best one which pays you more or which will give you maybe the brand or more pay or whatever it the, the decision will be in your hands guys okay and more offers you will get this is the best time okay for the people who are freshers one year two year this is the best time to learn the security testing if they are interested and move to this kind of area where they can get more pay than whatever they are getting in the normal testing jobs and but what if what if uh, you have the experience around 3 years to uh, more than like it may be 3 years 4 years 5 years 10 years maybe any any years okay 3 years and more years then guys it's uh, it may not be so much easy for you to get into a job into the sec complete security testing role rather this will add value to your existing job okay so here as a as a tester when we keep on growing guys uh, we we not only should have the soft uh, manual testing or automation testing or api testing or whatever other types of testing okay we should know every type of testing we should add the security testing also to our bucket okay so we should be a kind of all rounder after you are 3 years or more right it's not about moving to the security testing job completely but having the skill set of security testing is really important even for the people uh, which are who are 3 years or more so that they can become all rounders okay their profile will increase even though they may not be able to move to the complete uh, uh secure testing roles it's it they can move guys but the difficulty will rise okay when you are more than 3 years the difficulty of moving to this kind of secure testing jobs will rise hence guys so don't get demotivated even after you are 3 or more years rather focus on still adding the security testing skill set into your uh, profile so that your profile will 
get uh, get more value okay your profile will increase so the chances of you getting selected for the bigger roles will become will rise guys okay so this is the career advice i want to give if you are really below 3 years of experience guys and if you are interested in this area and if you want to get more pay don't waste your time simply spend 6 months to 1 year on learning this security testing and then get more good job opportunities so hope guys you understood uh, what exactly is the future of security testing in terms of all the directions from jobs to the career advice so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye